Okay, we have a vein airflow sensor here, which uh, we think is bad. Now notice what happens here as the door opens and closes. Door opens and closes. There's a contact on the inside here that runs across the potentiometer grid. And those contacts frequently go bad. So we test it by connecting our ohm meter. So we've got an ohm meter here, which you notice has an analog bar graph. The analog bar graph updates much more quickly than just the numbers. So this updates uh, 12 to 40 times a second, depending upon the model. This only updates maybe two to four times a second. So we've connected to the fourth terminal and the second terminal here from the right. So we're connected to those so that as we open and close the door, the resistance should change gradually, but it shouldn't be erratic. Now I'm gonna slowly open the door Notice how the resistance is erratically changing, jumping up and down. So now I'm all the way open. Now I'm going to slowly close the door. See how the analog bar graph is jumping up and down, jumping up and down. That's a sign of a poor connection on the inside here. So poor connection on the inside here. And this analog bar graph is jumping up and down a lot as I open and close showing that the resistance is changing erratically and it shouldn't. So let's zoom in on that analog bar graph again and you can see it as I open. See how it jumps up and down, jumps up and down and then I slowly close and it's jumping up and down showing that there's a poor connection. It's a bad one.